But here it says, this is the work that you believe on him and may stamp. That's your job. Verse 30 says, here's their answer to it. Then said they unto him, well, what sign do you show me? So I can see and then believe. They missed it. Went whoop, right over there. Right? Because here they said, after you just told them this is your job to believe, they said, well, what are you going to show me so I can? <laughs> the opposite. Amen. It's not what can I see to believe. It's choosing to believe. Yes. Amen. Working on it. That's right. Because what happens is, you understand the choice is pretty easy. I can say I believe. Mm -hmm. I can choose it. But the problem is, is then... The enemy, the God of this world, mounts an assault against me to try to convince me I'm wrong. And, I, you know, it's possible to waver. Verse 31, Our fathers did eat manna in the desert, as is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Jesus said to them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, not that bread from heaven. Oh, I'm sorry. I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father giving you the true bread from heaven. Okay. For the bread of God is he which comes down from heaven and gives life unto the world. Then said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. He that believeth on me shall never thirst. But I said unto you that you also have seen me mm -hmm. and believe not. Now that's a key verse. <coughs> this is the great deception here. Is that people, having seen, think they'll believe, but they still don't. Here it is, right here. Verse 36. Make sure you're reading it in your Bible too. Jesus said, But I said unto you, that you also have seen me. Amen. And you still don't believe. Okay? Amen. I just want to shake up your thinking a little bit here because maybe you thought I could believe easier if I could see it. No. It's a choice. Not a feeling. Not an emotion. It's not by what you see. It's by what you choose. you got to see with these eyes instead of these eyes. You see it with these eyes, Fine. See it with these eyes. You may have a problem. Hallelujah. Look, look with me, please, in Matthew 21. Matthew 21. Hallelujah. Matthew 21 and. Uh, Verse 32, For John came unto you in the way of righteousness, and you believed him not. But the publicans and the harlots believed him, and you, when you had seen it, these things going on, repented not afterwards that you might believe him. Now they saw it, they were using who knows what excuses, these were the religious people. The harlots and the, the, the publicans, mm -hmm. they believed him. Mm -hmm. Well, you see this going on. You see it, but you still don't repent and believe. So, the truth is, I've got to believe first, and then I see it. That's what the Bible says. The lie is, I'm going to believe it when I see it. And that's what the world has taught you. That's what a lot of religious people have taught you. When you pray, well, move it now and see if it works. What does it matter? Mm -hmm. Do we believe the Word of God or do we believe more in some experience? Hello? Now, I, I know that it's difficult when you're in pain to say I'm healed. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult. Yeah. I've been there. I've done that. I fainted. I've gotten back up, done it again. Hallelujah. But you know what? God cannot lie. 
okay. is true. Mm -hmm. So if you'll get hold of this, then that scripture will be true in your life. If God before you, who can be against you? You're more than a conqueror in Him. But if you're not living up to that, we have to check what's happening. What are we doing wrong? How come? Well, maybe we're waiting to see it, and then we'll confess it. It doesn't work that way. I know this is kind of going against the grain of a lot of teaching. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But right. it's true. And if you'll get a hold of it and begin to practice it, sure there'll be some tribulation involved. But I'm telling you, your life will turn around. God can't lie. And the scripture says he watches over his word to perform it. He hastens to perform it. He's quick, alive, and active. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. We call those things that be not as though they were, like Father Abraham. Mm -hmm. Look in John 12. Hallelujah. John 12. Verse 37. Mm -hmm. But though he had done so many miracles before them, yet they believed not on him. Do you see that? Now you think if Jesus was here in person, like when he was in the gospel, and he healed a few folks in front of you, you think, ah, wow, that'd be easy to believe then.